Thanks, Jen. And for my next act, that could be veteran entertainment reporter Steve Kometko's new opening line. You remember him, E! News Daily, from one of the CBS morning shows. Was it CBS this morning? It was CBS this morning when Red, Harry Smith was that, doing that's it. That's right. Red carpet interviews at awards, even played himself in a few movies. Well, Steve Kometko is conquering, is conquering the new media, the web, Twitter, Facebook, and now a podcast called And Here's Steve. It is exclusive to my community. That's a new online resource for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. He's in town for the opening of the Tampa International Gay and Lesbian Film Festival. Boy, I wrote that and I didn't know it was going to take so long to get through it. No, that's good, to okay. see, good to see you. Thanks that's for okay. coming in. I'm glad we had the time. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, haven't, I didn't have time to conquer anything. <laughs> All right, let's talk about our business, the business you and I are in. It is changing, and you had to uh, go out and kind of reinvent how you do what you do, how Steve Kometko is delivered, Well, right? yes, um, because the, the technology keeps changing so quickly, faster than you can, you know, bat an eye, um, once again, people are, when I was first in the business, uh, I shot on film, I edited, I set up my own stories, I wrote things, you know. And then you get to a certain level. I was working in Los Angeles at the CBS News, and, and you have producers, and you have assignment editors, and you have editors, and tape librarians, and things like that. And that's all changed, and now everybody has to do everything on computer. And well, it's, yeah. you've got to learn how to do uh, all those things, or l use it or lose it, you well, know. And, and so, you, I know you've, I've read you've left Los Angeles, you've gone kind of home to I've Chicago. Gone home to Chicago to be uh, closer to my family. My mom is, uh, my brother is 70. He had uh, cancer surgery earlier this year and uh, my mom turned 90 yeah. uh, last December. She'll be 91 this December. And uh, I just thought it was time to go home. Uh, LA can be a little bit of a toxic atmosphere after a while. I was there for 27 years and uh, it was time to go back to Chicago. Yeah. You and I are both of a certain age. <laughs> and <That's> so kind. <laughs> it, was, it was a nice way to say it. And adapting to change is difficult. And not just in our industry, but a lot of people are having to adapt to that and look at new ways of doing what they do or completely changing their professions. And you've done that. What's, what's your advice? Um, keep changing. Don't be afraid of change because uh, nobody likes change. But, yeah. you know, if you don't change, you die. You become a dinosaur. And uh, so I'm doing these podcasts for mycommunity.com, and it's been, uh, it's en uh, energized me. Yeah. It's, I'm having so much fun doing it. Um, uh, one of the films at the film festival is Hannah Free, and so, um, you know, I got a chance to interview uh, Sharon Gless, and we did a podcast on her, and it's posted on my community. But, you know, she's in Los Angeles, I'm in Chicago, the producer and the website are based here in Tampa. And so, you know, we're on the phone talking. It's being recorded and then edited. And uh, it's, it's just a new world. And as tough as it was probably adjusting to the new media, you seem to be having a good time at I'm it. I'm having You're, a great time yeah. because it's something new. It's, uh, I took a class just this past Saturday at my alma mater in Chicago, Columbia College. They offered a, a podcasting workshop. Uh -huh. And they contacted me and said, would you like to take it? And I said, definitely. So, you know, you, get, you have to teach yourself new things or you become obsolete. Cool. Hey, thank you for being here. Thank you, Russell. Good to meet you. Nice meeting you. Meeting you. Been a fan a long time. Oh, thanks. We should mention one more time that Steve is in town to host the opening night of the 20th, Interna 20th Tampa International Gay and Lesbian Film Festival. It was last night, right? It was last, last night. night. And, and it goes we, on for the next 10 yeah, days. Yeah, it's a big deal. And we put links to that and Steve's new venture, mycommunity.com, at our website, myfoxtampabay.com.